I bought this from my book fair, so I just really wanted to read. Go away, unicorn. Alice met the unicorn at her 10th birthday party in the park. He had not been invited. The unicorn had cussed because he smoked cake, his, fo his most favorite food. He stayed because he's seen Alice. Now, you have to be pretty silly to think that Alice was a unicorn just because of her shiny gold party hat. But unicorns can be pretty silly. There's the picture. If you can see it. Her friend Patty said, you got a unicorn for your birthday? All I got was a boring goldfish. Alice shrugged. She had no use for a unicorn. Even so, the unicorn played party games. He gave rides on his back, and he let everyone pet his luxurious sparkly mane. But the party was over, and everyone had gone home. The unicorn was still there. Alice said, go away, unicorn. I don't know why. But unicorns aren't very good listeners. Alice was not pleased that the unicorn had followed her home. This is silly, she said, and took off her party at. See, I'm not a unicorn. See, I'm not some weird horse. I can't be your friend. Kind of messed up on that part. Alice frowned. She said, go away, unicorn. I don't know why. <laughs> the dog's so mad. But unicorns know a friend when they see one. So the unicorn moved in. He made a nest for himself in her bedroom. He used pages from Alice's favorite books and some old shiny wrapping paper. He was very comfortable. He ate her cereal, but only the tiny pink marshmallows, what were, what, which were, of course, the best part. Kind of agree. <laughs> kind of agree with the unicorn. He used all of her shampoo to wash, to wash his mane. Alice said, go away, unicorn. But unicorns are easily distracted. The unicorn hogged through the remote. He trucked Larry through the house. He snorted all night and out. And he followed Alice to school. Alice said, go away, unicorn. But unicorns can be very sneaky. Alice's teacher asked, where's your homework? My unicorn ate it, Alice replied. Wait, did you see that? That unicorn would just not go. Alice tried to tell him he was a mythical creature. That means you don't exist, she explained but that just made the unicorn feel more special. She tried to lose him in the park, but he just thought it was a game. She tried to ship him to the zoo, but the zookeeper said, I'm sorry, unicorns don't exist. I know that, Alice cried. He buried her head in her hand. I don't know how to speak. That unicorn, the unicorn could tell something was wrong. It's a good thing unicorns know how to cheer a friend up. Up a friend. The, the unicorn turned Alice's hair bright pink. Pink was his most favorite color. Pink made Alice want to throw up. Girls 
also a pink. So I don't understand that part. Alice, Alice had a, had had enough. She stared at her hair. She stared at the unicorn. She said the meanest thing she could think of. You are so not my friend. I would rather have a goldfish than you. Even unicorns know when they're being unsold. Unsold. <laughs> Even unicorns know when they're being in, insulted. So the unicorn left and he did not come back. It was very quiet but no snorting. And it was very dull with no glitter. And it was very plain in Alice's house with no paint. But most of all, it was very lonely with no best friend. Alice might not have known a lot about being best friends. She, but she was pretty sure that the unicorn was doing a lot better job of it than she was. Alice whispered, come back unicorn. Unicorns have very good hearing. Alice hugged her unicorn. She said sometimes even best friends fight. Unicorns know an apology when they hear one. Isn't that a cute picture? Is that tear from the unicorn's eye? I wish I can zoom in. That's the last page. The end. Thank you for guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, bye!